my name is Jeff and welcome back to my workshop. We're going to continue working on our kit bash project for the Chicago Northwestern Station in or based on the Chicago Northwestern Station in Waukegan, Illinois. As you can see we've got the kids roof here because we're going to use that as our guide for the new roof on the kit or at least the subroofing that we're going to work on today. Okay, we're going to need to extend this so that we have roofing over the platform and at the ends of the building and we'll also have to at some point deal with how to add the cupola over the bay window to the new roof I'm using a piece of cardboard this is just uh, the top from a old plasticville kit that I'd previously assembled I saved that cardboard because it is good for projects like this I'm going to give the shiny side a coat of uh, my grimy black paint just so that it doesn't show up in the finished model. And then we're going to work with the white cardboard to lay out our cutting lines and fold lines for this. I'm going to take measurements off of both the building structure and the old roof to make sure that I cut this properly as you'll see in a few minutes and by the way I hope you're enjoying this show if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments okay so I've got it painted and I laid out the lines using the measurements I had taken off the model so I've got the long roof down here that will go over the platform the two end pieces that will fit at the end of the station and then the peak roof portion of the roof so I've got cut lines here and here. This line, these two lines will score so we can fold, make the folds to do that. I'm going to use a straight edge and a sharp new number 11 blade and my hobby knife to make these two cuts. And then I'll do the same thing when I score it. But when I score it, I'll just make one or two light passes. For the cuts, it's going to take four or five. I'd Again, light passes to get through. And you can kind of feel when you hit the surface of the mat because the, the feel of the knife going moving changes as it switches from cutting to paper to cutting the mat. But this is a self-healing mat. So I got through, felt like I got through, but not quite. So we'll come back and make another couple of passes. Get my straighters lined up and kind of feel the blade pop into the groove. And that did it. Now we'll just repeat the process on the other side. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future updates, including... The next part in this one, we're going to start shingling the roof and adding some of the roof details. Also, figuring putting in the coop, installing the cupola. So that'll be in the next installment on this. So make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification so you don't miss it. I'll leave a link to a playlist in the description that will contain the first two parts as well as this. So if you've missed those, you can see it there. So with that cut out and the lines, the score line, scores done on the two score lines, we can kind of get a feel of how this is going to look. Now those end plates are still a little bit on the long side, so we're going to need to take care of that. And we're just going to do that by marking the location where they need to be trimmed off. We want them to come even with the roof on the street side. So we'll mark that. And do the same on the other side. And then I will cut that off using the same technique I used to make the other cuts. Just using a straight edge to cut a straight line across to remove it. With those removed, we can make take this off the model, 
get that out of our way and I'll make those cuts. So here it is with the subroof finished and set in place. You can see it's obviously not glued down so it'll tighten up a little bit to the model once we do that but it's starting to take the look of of our finished project which was the photo you saw at the beginning of the video. I hope you've been enjoying this and please stay tuned for the next episode. Thank you for joining me in my workshop today.